Greetings Entities and Guardians, my name is Hyper Himes, and welcome back to Kicker Run Oven Break, where we're going to be focusing on another trial for this video, because recently, I think you may have uh, heard me mention this in the recent uh, Spooky School Experience video, well it's actually probably not recent, this might be uploaded later for all I know, but this cookie's pet is supposed to really help with the levels, so what I want to focus on is going through this cookie's trial, and also, just trying to get diamond rank in it, because hey, at this point it's a staple. And also, upgrading their pet, because it's important, so may as well. Because, if you've seen recently, the meta is the, uh, what is it, the angry tinder cinder pet thing on what's it? I don't know, but basically, we're going to be trying to go through purple yam cookies trial. And, I'm going to take this costume off, because I'm not trying to do an all costumes video. I don't even have the super epic costume. But, basically, I actually have purple yam already at level 9. And it says the requirement is level 6 with the pet at level 4. I don't even have the magic candy, but I already feel like diamond rank is possible. And the pet's at level 6 too, instead of level 4. So that's pretty cool already. And for suggested, I can just probably copy all this down. Unless if there's a, uh, a plumbing treasure that I need to have glued on there because there's a treasure combi. Because, I don't know. So, before we get any of this talked about, any of this started, we should go ahead and have a look at what he, what he does, what his skill... Oh, okay. So he does have the jelly horsey. Anyway, I don't even have the magic candy for this yet. Which, uh, sorry, I was just looking at the, uh, his level, I was thinking like, hmm, maybe I could just get him up to 10, but maybe I'll save that for the next run, how about that? Uh, so according to his story, Purple Yam Cookie was baked in extreme temperatures again and again until the heat finally got to his head. Ever since, Purple Yam Cookie has been in an angered state, it, to say the least, that's why we advise being extremely cautious around him. When the wrath kicks in, this cookie begins to crush and smash the surroundings in a dangerous tornado of rage. And as if that wasn't enough, Purple Yam Cookie's always eager to fight someone. The cookie claims that no one has suffered in the flames of hell more than him, but little did he know, in fact, other cookies went through the witch's oven too. I mean, that's true, but has any other cookie- have, has any other one ba been baked through, like, extreme temperatures? Um, I, I don't think so, and if there has been one, they probably haven't gone through the oven, they probably went through some source- sorcery, like, mean or something, I don't know. But according to a skill, the rage gauge fills at given intervals. When it's full, the slide button changes into the rage tornado button. Tap it to enter the rage tornado mode. Destroy obstacles in the cookie's path and receive extra rage tornado points. When Purple Yam Cookie's energy drops below a certain point, he enters the berserk mode, making the rage gauge fill in faster. Level up for more rage tornado points. You just, you gotta be very prepared to just destroy every single thing in your path with this cookie. Now, gotta move on to the pet, the fire starter. That's what it's called, a fire starter. According to the story, ouch! This potato is either angry because it's on fire or burning because it's angry. And it's determined to take its anger on, op on the obstacles. Is there even a cookie to blow out fire starter's fiery temper? Does he tempter? Temper, who cares, but I was gonna say Sea Fairy just so you can douse it, but I don't think that's the case. Anyway, the skill says provides extra destruction points. The more obstacles that are destroyed, the more extra destruction points the pet provides. Level up for more extra destruction points. Uh, that's why everyone's been using it recently in the uh, Spooky School Experience event. But not least, Purple Yam is actually associated with a treasure known as the Stuffed Jumping Jelly Horsey. Which, according to the story of this, it says, which, fun fact, it's actually associated with Purple Yam Cookie, Dark Shaka Cookie, and Avocado Cookie. Which, according to the story, it says, this jelly horsey is full of cover colorful sweet jellies. Each jump is bursting with jelly splashes. And, of course, it says, according to the skill, while in giant mode, a counter in the treasure slot will start increasing. While both the counter and in giant mode are active, jelly balls will appear upon landing. Level up for more points for jelly ball. While both the counter and giant mode are active. Okay, I guess you have to be, yeah, you have to be in giant mode and then jump and slam on the ground. This is just the gist for, like, what the treasure does. You have to be in giant mode and then after you slam on the ground, then a bunch of jelly things just pop up and you gotta pick them up. But, alright. We honestly could potentially get diamond rank, just how we are right now, though I also kind of doubt it. But if we do, that would be really cool. But then again, I'm still gonna run again even after I get it, if I do get it, because I need to show off the max magic candy. Alright, let's give this a run and let's see how angry, uh, how angry we can get. And... Pretty sure we're already angry literally a second in. Alright, yep, let's destroy everything. You know what, gotta be honest with you. Like, just like speaking like off- Oh, what? Oh, okay, just drop down, nice. Uh, I gotta be honest. Oh, I think this is a- uh, What is this? Is this a- uh... Oh, no, 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 I was gonna say, is this like a uh, Land 7? Reminds me of a trophy race, but like, uh, I don't think it is because, uh, in Land 7 is supposed to be Shattered Kingdom, and I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be the trial for, uh, Dark Chaco. Oh, oh, that was close. That was some really good clutch right there. And extra points for destruction. Awesome. But also, as I was going to mention before, I, I this is actually like the first time in a while I'm like recording like relatively like early in the morning. But like not, it's not, like, 
not you know, like early in the morning in the sense like, oh man, it's like four o'clock. No, it's like it's like eight o'clock right now. I should probably dodge those only just because I feel like those could spell out disaster for me. Uh, so anyway, I'm just saying right now, it feels really nice. I already finished one video, and uh, I'm not gonna say which video exactly, but uh, I don't know. I'm just happy I got that video done because it was quite long. Because uh, yes, yeah, so it is cookie run related, and it's because it was a long event, which I feel like that just gave it away. But still, I'm just happy just finishing that, and like I don't know why it feels very refreshing just recording early in the morning. Probably because like there's still some people who are just like somewhat asleep, but also just like not it's like too crazy. Okay, bonus time. And be, uh, apparently, purple yam is being carried by the mace. I hope fire starter is not getting like their butt poked because that is sounds pretty painful. I gotta be honest. Like, let me just pick you up by the mace. And not, not even just picking you up by the mace, but, like, picking you up by the pointy sharp end. And I'm... I also saw a post, by the way, that, uh... Uh... It was something on Twitter or something like that, where, uh... It told you the difference between... What the plug was wrong with me? Why did I jump that? I was... I don't know. Oh, well, I have... Well, I have to force a... Okay. You know, fine. We'll destroy those. Oh, actually, maybe pressing those buttons is good. Because it can give us more obstacles to destroy. Maybe that's the optimal strategy, but I ain't got a clue. But, uh... Oh! That, okay, sure. We'll take that. Anyway. Yeah, you guys shoot. Oh, okay, never mind. That would just shake the ground for us. I'm just assuming... Now I'm just assuming everything's just like, Oh, we gotta press all those buttons for optical destruction. But maybe it's just, like, buttons that you don't... Have, like, buttons that you are guaranteed to press? I don't know. By the way, we're entering now Berserker mode. Had a feeling that we wouldn't get into diamond rank in this one. But hey, it's whatever. I'm pretty sure I can, like, never fall in this mode, because whenever Berserker mode activates, I just have an infinite... I just had to speak. I just had to speak! I was just like, oh, I'll just never fall, because I'll always have a platform under me. And instantly, I jump off! I swear, I don't script these things. I kid you, that wasn't even intentional, too. I just happened to just fall... Alright, well, like, there goes me, I guess. I swear, I'm such a plumbing idiot. Uh, ooh, I'm gonna actually get the rewards so I can get extra things from the magic candy. But that was a nice amount of stuff, too. So, there's that. So, first of all, I'm actually gonna go ahead and slap 10 spear potions on you. Because you were close to leveling up, so why not? So now we have more energy with you. And now, I'm gonna give you stuff for the magic candy. I, I need more of these. Really? How much are we looking? Uh... Let's just do it like one of those real quick, and then like three with the magic powder. Uh, okay, now create. Oh, we still need so much with the magic candy after unlocking because we spent like 15. Right, how much did we need after that? Well, it was like 20. Sheesh. Uh, okay. Sure. Let's just go with it. Uh, let's go 10 with the crystals and also 15 with the magic powder. You can never be too sure. Okay, level 2, and then level 3, and then level 4, and then level 5. Okay, I had one extra. Nice. Perfect. So, I'm also going to apply a special blessing to it, which I know it's not going to affect the trial. But you know what? This is definitely going to help. Especially since now I have, like, Purple Yam at a good level, along with her pet. Which I'm definitely going to up, uh, up, upload. <laughs> upgrade. Along with this pet, I will upgrade. Just give me the blooming green-bluish color. The Malachite. There we go. What color would you call that, by the way? Bear jelly, yellow bear jellies? I would prefer destruction, but you know, it's whatever, because I'm pretty sure you can actually see somewhere, like, what you can get from, uh, the magic candy. Yeah, bonus pink bear, basic, and, uh, in giant mode. Wait, what am I- I don't have- I have no idea what I'm looking at. I barely looked at the screen. But according to the skill of the magic candy, it says, receives critical points while the skill is active. The stronger the enchanted power, the more critical points. So, really, this, this cookie is just based around just how many points can you get destroying every single thing. Like, I'm not even joking. The pets are just like, oh, you get a bunch of points for destroying something. The magic candy is like, you get critical points, so it's a point increase. Sheesh. So, get a, here's a boost. Here's a boost. Here's a boost. Here's a boost. Now, you're at level 10. Now, both purple yam cookie and the fire starter is at level 10. And, yeah, I'm pretty sure we should also get some better things for the ranking. Uh... Okay, so they're saying they still got the jelly horsey, but also instead of the uh, hot rod and the egg, it's the treasure map and the mirror of malice. It's kind of fitting because hey, the mirror of malice just like destroys everything, and like I feel like 
I feel like purple yam is just filled with malice. Like, no, I no, is that different? I don't know. I feel like malice is kind of like similar to just like anger of some sort, but I don't know. But anyway, give me that treasure map because we're gonna hunt for some stuff. And where's that mirror? There we go. So hopefully in this run we can do better. And by the way, there's a this thing. If you ever want to be interested in it, now that exists. But I think we should probably get diamond ring now if not then that sucks i'll probably just try and have to do more upgrading but i'm pretty sure it should be probable it should at least be within reason now all right attempt number two and also bonus missions just get one potion seems simple enough i also forgot you can just oh the, the points are definitely high now uh but I, I also need to remember don't be like me like this is just a tip of advice if you ever like do any of these like old trials like don't be like me and you feel like, oh, I want to buy, like, the uh, magic candy uh, ingredients. I just spend, like, crystals and, like, magic powder. You don't have to do that. What you could do is just you could complete the bonus missions. And what that would end up happening. Oh, okay, those clothes. That's why you need to get the uh, thing. But, uh, you could just complete the bonus missions. And after a few missions, there's probably, I think there's some missions that can uh, give you the actual uh, ingredients for the magic candy. Which can be super helpful. Because I'm pretty sure now barely any, since they removed bonus missions and replaced that with a $10 pet. Which I'm still mad about. Oh, that just gave me a big lack in coins. Whatever, I can manage. Uh, I don't think it's the worst thing in the world. All that did was just kind of reduce me using the uh, jelly horsey. It's a couple million down the drain, but I'm pretty sure I can make up for it. If not, I'll just run it again, it's fine. Uh, but anyway... What the hell was I talking about? I, like, completely forgot. Oh, yeah, ever since, like, they got rid of, uh, it was the plumbing bonus missions and $10 pet, it, it's kind of more difficult to get, like, the ingredients for the magic candy. But, it's specifically the one, like, the ingredients that's specifically made for the cookie. Like, for how, uh, for purple yam, it was, like, uh, the plumbing little yam pieces, or, like, the pieces of mace or whatever it was. How did- Oh my gosh, you gotta be joking me. I can't believe I just- f I threw- You know the best part about this? Guess who got the plebbing, uh, gold coin, uh, giant potion just so I can get some more points at the, uh, what, what was it? The gold coins and there was the giant potion in front of it and I missed it, but this time I got it. So guess what? We just got even more points. So guess what? Me restarting was actually a good thing. That was all planned. Absolutely planned. That was just a tactical fail. Literally. It, I literally planned it so that when I failed, I would restart so I can get with some more opportunity of points. Because I wasn't just going to restart over something that pity. I wanted to wait for a reason. And that's why I, well, I, I feel like that's even more pity for like me to be like, I intentionally failed just so I could get the uh, more points. Okay, great. It's about to fall. It's all, all about to go down. There we go. We're fine. Or are we? Oh, that was close. Actually, kind of scared. And activate this. And now everything is being destroyed. Mace and laser. And everything is just going down. Gonna make sure I get my jumps in for the horsey. Okay, these things are falling. That's scary. But we're fine. Okay, activate this. Nice. Oh, yeah, we're in berserk mode. Oh, we're close to diamond rank. Okay, let's do it. Let's try and get as many as we can. Er, and by as many as we can, I mean like all, all the points in the world. Come on. Just need a little bit more destruction points. Oh, there we go. That's yeah, a clean sweep right there. Yes, there we go. Oh, and all the yellow, all the giant bear jellies. All the giant bear jellies in the world. Over 300 million points for this. Absolutely. That's what you'd love to see. Can we get that? Oh, we got the potion too? Hello. Swimming amazing job right there. Oh my lord. We're almost at three and like a three hundred and a half million points. Is that the correct term to use? Three hundred and a half million? Yeah, because three hundred. No, could, wouldn't that be three hundred million five hundred thousand? Because I don't know. Whatever the case is, we got diamond ring with purple yam cookie, which is amazing. So that means now we can get all the rewards, including crystal, spirit potions, coins, and a bunch of other things that we already got before. And also we can get the bonus mission. And now if we also go back to check if a reward is waiting for us, we can get a free three hundred crystals because this is our sixty eighth. Diamond rank. We're actually getting close to both 69 and 70. That's a hot, that's a thousand rainbow cubes for 70. That's a good reward right there. Uh, but there we go. If you did enjoy this video, then please be sure to like. Oh, I, I just drink water. 
that's my excuse. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, then please be sure to leave a, li leave a like on it, and also share it with your, share it with your friends for more quick run content. And if you enjoy my content in general, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't yet, or you want to hit the bell to be notified of whatever I do in the future. And also, I have merchandise available if you want to check it out, but I'm not forcing you to buy anything at all. And also, I have a Discord down in the description if you want to join it, because it's a fun time down there, and we're trying to expand every single day. But above all else, I will see you into these guardians in the next video. Hail the hype needs.